ウォームアップは必要なかったから<笑>その機体はこいつで500戦以上やった倒されては直し改造し改良し GP デュエルに特化させた俺の相棒<笑>アストレイノーネイム Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox channel. Today we're building the high grade build fighters, the Gundam Astray No Name. The only reason why I'm watching Build Divers is because of this MS. This MS, first time when it arrives in the trailer and actually in the episode, that was cool as hell. Like, he, he beat the double diver ace completely. Uh, yeah, I will talk about that later, but.、Uh, The thing is,、uh, I just love this Gunpla so much. Like, it's really well designed, and I'm very excited on building this. And,、uh, you know, let's take a look. So, we got、uh, the introduction of the、uh, weapons, the no name unit. Actually, this no name unit, well designed as well. So,、uh, let's quickly open that. And let's check out what's in it. So, one, two, five. Five, five packages with an instruction book down below. Let's just quickly flick through it. So, we got a little bit of introduction of the pilot and the MS as well. So,、uh, GP Deuce Pilot. And this is the a little bit of info on how do you transform it to different positions. And this is the based on the Gundam Astray, of course, but it's actually based on a、uh, side stories MS called the Lord Astray, I believe. But、uh, it, didn't, it didn't mention in here, just letting you know. But I think most of you know about that, so I don't have to repeat that. So give me a second, I'm gonna open up the packages. Right now, let's quickly look at the runners. So we got two D runners.、Uh, is the Legs, it's all about the legs part. We got two C runners again, it's the legs runner and some、uh, and the head, a t i n n e r s and the legs joint. We got a B runner,、uh, is the head, the torso, the arms,、um, shoulders, and backpack, and the head as well. This is the A2 runner,、uh, it's the arms unit and the legs unit and the back of the legs and some inner joint as well. This is a, this is a E2 runner, I believe this, is the, no, this whole、um, runner is about the no name unit. This is the E3 one,、uh, runner,、uh, again it's about the no name runners. The no name unit, and this is the A1 runner uh, torsos. Uh, we got some legs, j o i n t some hands option, and some arms option as well. And that's the so we got stickers. We actually got a lot of stickers here, so I assume there's gonna be a lot of parts. It's very bad color separation. And this is the this is from the Gundam X, actually, is a is actually the beam saber that. Will be used, and this is the red polycaps. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, I will repaint this、uh, MS no name unit back to black because I seriously don't like the maroon color. I seriously hate it. So I already I, I buy some paint already, and I will paint、uh, every spot that is maroon back to black just to mention that. So yeah, I will see you guys at the review.
started to fall And where were you? How could I know you were falling too? I'm grabbing the wind, cutting my skin But it's hard because I I'm falling Tell me why I'm falling Oh, life's calling But it's hard because I'm falling Welcome back to the review of the Astray No Name. So this is the finishing of the whole gunpla. I have to remove the No Name unit first because uh, if I put it on, I can't really show you all the movements. So I decided to take off, take it off first, and uh, I will put it back. I will put the No Name unit on uh, when I get to the uh, unit part. And you know, I as I said at the beginning of the video, I re I basically repaint the whole MS because I can't. You know, I can't accept the maroon color, so that's why I put basically I paint everything back into black and now it looks extremely good. Alright, let's start the review. So you know first uh when I was building this and when I first saw the design it I, it reminded me the of the Gundam Build Fighters uh you know the first season. The Gundam Wing Fennus, is it? That's how it called. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's a very unparalleled design, and one side is naked, as described, and one side is full with armor. So you, as you can see, the left and right is unparalleled uh, design. So I I really like I really like the design of this, but some of you might like a perfect design, but I'm fine with you know uh, this kind of design because I s like it. I pretty like this kind of design. All right, as usual, let's start the review from the head. So the head, uh, if you notice it, it looks like something. Yeah, it's Astray Gold Frame uh, Amasu Mina. Uh, definitely, you can see the chin is uh, kind of you know have a something that hooking up, and you can see those two antennas at the side. Clearly gives you an idea of the gold frame. And. Although it says the design is based on the Lord Astray, but I kind of feel like it's based on uh, the uh, Gold Frame Amazumina because they both got this pretty similar design for me. And at the back here, we have a clear blue piece here. If you take it off, you can see an other face in there, which you have to repaint it, of course, to see that face. But uh, I think it's a pretty cool feature. You, uh, it got two faces on the uh, Gunpla. And I feel like this is a very, ever. I feel like it's a very good idea to have that. And my camera wasn't uh, uh, scoping again. And now let's talk about torso. The torso. Um, there's one part you need to repaint it. Uh, is this thruster here is supposed to be gold, and but I ran out of gold paints. <laughs> and for torso though, I'm parallel design. One side got an extra armor. One side didn't. And we flip it to the back. We see this time the backpack don't really have anything except for this. Not really sure which which part was this, and uh, but overall, it still looks pretty good. And the torso, since there's nothing to you know blocking in the way, so of course you can turn around 360 without any problem. Turn around 360 without any problem, of course, and it can 
slightly move up and down as well. Right now, so let's talk about the arm movement. So the shoulder, so the shoulder is actually uh, individual movements, and since it uses the old uh, Astray uh, Gundam's frame, I mean the joint, so that's why the arm only can bend for 90 degrees. The arm can is capable of 360 movement and slightly moving to the forward. And same as the other arm, but if you want the other arm to move, you must remove the uh, backpack. Don't really, not sure what's on the back. Uh, whatever that is, you remove it and you can move it because it's actually blocking the movement, so it's really not working. And the gold, the gold part of the arm is a sticker, so if you want, you can repaint it, but uh, it's kind of small, so I wouldn't rec recommend to do that. And up to the waist, the waist is a ball joint size skirt, so it's very easy to pop out. Be sure when you're moving around. The front skirt is each individual piece. Each piece can move about 90 degrees. And the arm can lift up 90 degrees, I forgot to mention that. The, uh, the leg can kick to the side about 70 degrees, not really 90. Kick to the front, 90. Kick to the back, 30-40. Uh, and bend about bend about slightly more than 90 degrees uh, on the on the legs I mean on the feet uh, it got the individual joint moving front and back the whole feet is capable of moving moving uh, rotating around 360 and there's a small piece at the back of the legs you can lift up and sorry you can lift up and you can put it back not really sure what that part of movement is, but uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm fine with it. Right now, so let's talk about the accessory. There's not much accessory actually, because first, this uh, this uh, Gunpla don't have too much weapons other than the no-name unit. The no-name unit is his main weapon, and so let's talk about accessory. So we got a uh, left, uh, we got a left hand option of uh, you know when if you like to hold a beam saber or something because this kid is missing a couple weapons from the anime. In the anime, we got a gigantic sword, we got a beam saber, and uh, the claw mode of the no name unit, uh, which is not provided in this model kit. Not sure why, but uh, if you're not if you don't know what mode I'm talking about, go back watch episode thirteen and you will understand what I'm saying. And now, uh, so this is the left hand, and we have two. We have three connectors. One, uh, uh, one connector is on the no name unit now, which I will show you later. Uh, there's two connectors. This one is for the normal, uh, normal mode of the uh, no name unit, which is like a like a clock type. And this is for the uh, B smart gun mode. And we have a beam sabers, which just directly grab it from the Gundam X uh, runner. And beam saber though is. Store on the right, uh, it's on the right hand. You just basically plug it in like this. Nothing else to do, but that's just basically it. Now I'm gonna introduce what you all been waiting for: the no name unit. Just a little note, though. If you if you're expecting uh, some very particular cool ways to bend, turn, whatever you want to say to uh, to make the no name unit into something else, sorry, your expectation is completely off because. Uh, Remember this no-name unit in this gunpla do have three modes and all three of them is very annoying. You have to rip rip apart the uh, whole no-name unit and then you know turn this, turn that. Uh, it's pretty annoying for me. <laughs> I don't really like to do that. So currently this is the, uh, what what this mode called again? I don't even remember. The X-Connect mode. So the X-Connect mode is the modes that uh, all the no-name units, all the pieces here will be turned to the back and the nitro system will activate and all these four pieces here will turn into uh, funnels and slice the enemy and that's part that's with a connector let me show you how let me show you how to plug it on during this mode so remember there's a back thing in here you just basically pull it out and then you put this and then you put instead of putting that and then you put this x connector on and you have something like this. Let me show you how tall it is. It's pretty tall actually. And it's pretty gigantic. So if you want to you know, do a very good series of photo shooting, definitely recommend you to do that. And now uh, I, will show, I will show you uh, the uh, Beast Marker mode and the normal mode. And during the transformation is too long, I decided not to show it because first, 
uh, I'm afraid I will bend stuff wrong and bend stuff broken and I not really want you to see me failing on the camera and instead I will just show you the finished product plus if you want to see just a little note if you want to see the whole transformation though uh, it's basically just past swapping so if you want to see it just go to 1999 uh, it's a it's a website that show uh, now plus you go there and then there's an instruction book menu that you can have a look at it and you can take a look on the uh, transformation because seriously it's too long and it's to it's, and it's too complicated so it um, took me a while to finish this uh, this is the B smarker mode it's very long it's longer than the whole I actually did a small measurement it's longer than the uh, uh, the gunpla itself uh, the extension and you know it's very cool looking I have to admit but it's very painful to display since it's very long and it's very hard to get the pose accurate and you know uh, it's basically just rotating the uh, the no name unit around and you know pull some wings out and then put it back and then flip the scope out and you have this it's extremely good looking but it's very hard to display during to this size and lastly this is the mode that you all been waiting the normal mode so rip apart rearrange it and you have this normal clock mode and I must admit though out of three modes I think this mode is the most coolest one because it truly shown how mysterious it is for uh, the no the uh, astray no the astray no name and I personally think that this mode is the best and mark my words here I actually have something to say though if the no name unit does have an AMG version of it I will buy it but let's just hope that aside uh, let's just hope that it won't take as much pass swapping or rotating and, and flip up flip down as the XG one but if you know the Astray no name actually get an MG I'm considering to buy it because an XG just this XG just take too much work to switch between modes and I want it easily to switch and definitely getting one of this definitely need to get it because this is such a cool design and such a cool gunplay to mess around and play with the poses and if you have a double uh, double diver ace you can probably you know do some uh, stop motion movie and then recreate the battle scene I would like someone I would like someone to do that because uh, for me such since this couple actually have that many things that you can play with I think it's a very good thing that you can do that and that's basically the end of the review since there's not much to talk about and this is the end of the review hope you guys like this video be sure to drop like all my videos and subscribe to my channel as well and I will see you next time in another gunplay review goodbye